Good day, everyone. I am Baba Tunde Esther Lubumi from University of Elone, Nigeria. I am here to present a paper titled Optimization of Badisu Production from Waste Vegetable Oil Using Synchronous Oxide Catalyst and Called on Carbonite Material. Introduction The prospect of a fossil fuel shortage, as well as the pollution that comes with it, prompted researchers to search for alternatives to petroleum derivatives. The discovery from research gave rise to Badisu as an alternative fuel. Badisu is a bar fuel that is similar to fossil fuel. The sources of Badisu are tallow, vegetable oil, animal fat, and waste cooking oil. Transesterification is the process of converting this oil into Badisu with the use of catalyst. Advantages of Badisu are low exhaust emission, renewability, non-toxic, biodegradable and sustainable, reduce reliance on foreign oil, and economic development. There is a lot of challenges facing Badisu production in Nigeria. Among them are competition between edible vegetable oil consumption and bad fuel production, long-time sustainability to meet industrial demands, high cost of virgin vegetable oil, environmental contamination from indiscriminate discharge of used alkali catalyst. In this study, who does which poses environmental pollution was utilized to synthesize heterogeneous catalyst for the production of a biodiesel methodology. The waste vegetable oil was collected and analyzed to determine the physical chemical properties. The wood dust was also collected, washed, oven dried at 120 degrees C for 24 hours and sieved. It was later carbonized in a muffled furnace at 500 degrees C for one hour to obtain an activated carbon. The activated the activated carbon was wet impregnated with zirconium oxide to improve on the activity of the catalyst and later cast at 500 degrees C and kept in the desiccator to avoid moisture. This catalyst was analyzed or characterized using scanning electron microscope to determine its morphology and also using EDS that is energy dispersive spectroscopy to determine the different uh, uh, element present. The activity of this catalyst was tested in the production of biodiesel using transesterification process to obtain biodiesel and glycerol. The biodiesel that was obtained was later analyzed to determine the, 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 the different esters that were present. Then the physical chemical properties of this biodiesel obtained was also analyzed as shown in the table above. And then it was discovered that the, the properties, the four properties were according to ASTM standard. This is the morphology of the catalyst synthesized. And it was discovered that the zirconium oxide were well dispersed on the surface of the catalyst, which has improved the activity of the catalyst. Uh, this is the CCD experimental design and the Baldizu yield. Uh, this is the analysis of variance, and it was discovered that the model was significant. This is the GCMS of the waste vegetable oil Baldizu, which shows that six different metal esters were obtained at different composition. The, as the catalyst was later reduced for four times, and at the fourth run, the a yield of the biodiesel dropped drastically. In conclusion, uh, the synthesized catalyst was suitable for the production of biodiesel with a maximum yield of 98.39% at a methanol to oil ratio of 9 ratio 1, 5% catalyst concentration with respect to the weight of the oil, reaction temperature of 55 degrees C, and reaction time of 3 half. The Physical chemical properties of the waste vegetable oil biodiesel show that it meets the ASTM standard. The GCMS film profile further confirmed the quality of biodiesel produced. Acknowledgement. The author's acknowledgement goes to the management of University of Lauren Quara State, Nigeria, for making it possible for us to attend SBJCAM Conference 2021. These are the references used. Thank you for listening.